Hey, what up, Dodgers Nation? D-Mac here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at D-Mac underscore LA. The Dodgers signed Blake trying to a contract extension. What does it mean? And will he pitch again this season? And also, Pedro Baez is back in the Dodgers organization. We're going to talk about that. But first, for all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, breakdowns, interviews, and more all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. What do you make of the Dodgers signing Blake Trinan to a little contract extension? Do you think that means he won't pitch again this season? I want all your thoughts on that. It also is the signing of Pedro Baez something, nothing, or everything. Let me know down below in the comment section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So Blake is going to be back. The Dodgers have signed Blake Trinan to a contract extension as reported first by the Los Angeles Dodgers. They tweet out, the Los Angeles Dodgers agreed on a one-year contract extension with right-handed pitcher Blake Trinan for the 2023 season. Now, if you remember, the Dodgers originally signed Blake Trinan back in late December of 2019 to that one-year $10 million deal, and it was really a prove-it-to-me deal. I mean, Blake Trinan was coming off the worst season of his career career after having the best season of his career in 2018 when he was widely considered to be one of the best relievers in all of Major League Baseball. So the Dodgers, they took a chance on him and he was a big part of LA winning that 2020 World Series. And during that offseason, the Dodgers decided to bring Blake back. They signed him to a two-year $17.5 million contract that included an $8 million club option for 2023 or a $1.5 million buyout. And during the 2021 season, Blake was even better. He reestablished himself as one of the elite relievers in all of Major League Baseball. He was LA's high leverage guy, a guy that Doc could throw into any situation, into any inning, top of the order, wherever it would be to put out those fires, and he did just that. But this season, he's been dealing with injuries. Blake has only appeared in three games this year. He gave up that home run to Connor Joe in the Dodgers' third game of the season, but he was placed on the IL in early April with shoulder disease comfort. And at the time, they had hoped that the injury was going to be relatively minor. They ended up giving him a few days off. They hoped that the pain would dissipate. And then when it didn't, he had some MRIs, they had some scans, and it revealed no structural damage. So they said it was inflammation in the shoulder, but then he still wasn't throwing. He wasn't making very much progress. And then on May 8th, the Dodgers placed him on the 60-day IL. And Dave Roberts told reporters, I just think he feels he's just going to rehab it and he doesn't need any other opinions. It's shoulder inflammation, and so now we've decided that we're going to rest it, strengthen it, and get him back here. He'll go on to say, his value for us is during the stretch run, whatever that means. So we're going to take our time with him and do everything we can to make sure he's ready for the second half of the season. So the big question now is, will he be back for the second half of the season? Because if you look at that contract, what it's basically saying is that they're guaranteeing that 2023 club option and also having another club option for 2024. Now, I will say the timing of this is a little interesting. It does come out of the blue to an extent, and if you're the Dodgers, you say, hey, if this guy can match the production and get close to matching the production that we saw in 2020 and 2021, that he's going to be a steal for $8 million in 2023 and 2024. So is this an indication that, hey, maybe he's undergoing shoulder surgery, a procedure that would require him to miss most, if not all, of the following season? Is there a surgery on the way for Blake Trinan? I think those theories are pretty interesting, but I think really this is just him getting that security, him knowing he wants to be in this Dodgers organization. And from speaking to Blake Trinan firsthand, I can tell you he loves being a part of this Dodgers organization. He loves the way they do things from top to bottom. So he feels very comfortable here. He also knows that they're going to do everything they can to try to get the most from him on the mound. He also appreciates that as well. So I think if you're Blake Trinan, in. I do think that he's going to make a run at trying to come back this year, but shoulder issues are always tricky. The inflammation has yet to subside, and I still think he is a ways away. So, I don't think this necessarily means that he's going to be on the shelf for the entire season. I do fully believe that he's going to make a run at returning following the All-Star break, but it is very interesting timing because we saw Blake trying and bet on himself in 2020 with that $10 million deal, and you consider the success he had 
last season. If he could be that dominant reliever, he could definitely get some nice coin out there on the market. But hey, if you're the Dodgers, it's a smart move, and you're kind of betting on the fact that he can get healthy and resume his role as the Dodgers' top high leverage reliever. Now, I found this very interesting from Jack Harris of the LA Times. He wrote, one person with knowledge of the situation said that Trinan's potential compensation for 2024 would be based on time missed for specific injuries. There's a scenario where the 33-year-old right-hander could be a free agent after next season as well. So I think that you give yourself some protection if you're the Dodgers by having some of these conditions where if he has to miss significant time, that's going to change his contract. And then if you're Blake Trinan, does this give you an out if you can remain healthy? So I do think it's security on both ends. And Harris would go on to write, one person Sunday said there is a decent chance Trinan returns this season. However, there remains a real possibility he misses the remainder of the campaign too. So clearly it's very up in the air right now with Blake Trinan. There's no guarantee that he's going to return this season. And for this Dodgers bullpen, that's a big blow because yes, there's a lot of talent in that Dodgers pen, but Blake Trinan was the guy and they're going to have to find guys they can trust in that Dodgers pen. Now, I've been a big fan of Yancy Almonte and Evan Phillips. Their stuff is filthy. They got the velo. They have the movement on those secondary pitches, but can they perform in these big situations? We saw Justin Brule struggle yesterday for the Dodgers. You saw Bruce Dark Gratterall. He had his most impressive appearance of the season. I like the way he used that cutter to miss bats, and I think with Bruce Dark Gratterall, he's trending in the right direction. Alex Vesia, he's had a really nice year. And then also another in Friedman We Trust moment. Give Andrew Friedman and the Dodgers a lot of credit for making the move to get Craig Kimbrell because we all thought Blake Trinan, he was possibly going to be that guy in the ninth inning to get some big saves. Well, it turns out the Dodgers needed Craig Kimbrell a lot more than we all originally had expected. So we'll see if guys can continue to step up and patchwork this bullpen together. But not having Blake Trinan is a big blow. Then also you factor in Tommy Canely. He's not expected to be back anytime soon. We saw that Victor Gonzalez is going to miss significant time. Hopefully they get him back after the All-Star break. And I think we'll see what happens with Danny Duffy and Dustin May. Can they be key contributors? So a lot of big questions for this Dodgers bullpen. And yes, they do have a lot of dudes that can get it done. I mean, we haven't even mentioned Phil Bigford. He's another guy that the Dodgers leaned on heavily last season. But if they can find those internal options that they trust, will the Dodgers look to make a trade? And right now I'm putting together a video, top 10 bullpen trade options if the Dodgers want to deal for another reliever. Now, a reliever they did just pick up is old friend Pedro Baez. Yes, Pedro Baez is back in the Dodgers organization. LA signed him to a minor league contract, and it hasn't been good for Pedro Baez since he's left LA. He signed that two-year $12.5 million contract with the Houston Trastros, but it just hasn't worked out for Petey down in H-Town. He has a shoulder injury that really diminished his velocity. This year, he's averaging 90 90.2 miles per hour on his heater. And we saw him with the Dodgers touching 95, 96 miles per hour. And a lot of that diminished velocity is largely due to that shoulder injury. And Petey's just pitched six and two-thirds innings over the last two seasons. He threw four and a thirds innings last year. And this year, just two and a thirds innings. But he was rocked. He gave up six runs in that span. You saw the velocity go down to 90.2 miles per hour. And the Astros, they DFA'd him and they released him earlier this year. So it hasn't looked good for Pedro Baez and the Dodgers. They sent him to the developmental camp. They're not just going to throw him into games just yet. They're going to see if they can find a way to get him right. But I don't think it's a lot of anything for the Dodgers. If you ask me something, nothing, or everything, I would put it somewhere between the nothing and the something category. But it'd be closer to nothing because that velocity is diminished and that shoulder injury appears to really be impacting his career in a devastating way. So we'll see what happens with Pedro Baez. But, hey, it's kind of fun just to say that name, P.D. Baez, man. But, yeah, let me know down below in the comments section. What are your thoughts on Blake trying and signing that contract? Do you think this is a deal like the Tommy Canely deal or the Jimmy Nelson deal where they know he's going to be out? Or do you think this is the Dodgers taking advantage of an opportunity to sign a reliever of Blake Trinan's caliber to a team-friendly deal? Let me know down below in the comments section. Also, should the Dodgers make a trade for a bullpen piece? Do you think? 
think Blake Trine will be back this year? And is the signing of Pedro Baez something, nothing, or everything? Let me know down below. My name is DMAC. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. Really helps out the channel. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.